Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to calculate and set up taxes into your WooCommerce website. Taxes are basically the portion of the money you need to pay your government to run your business. Taxes are really important if you wanna do your business legally. You must should pay the taxes to your government and the taxes depends on your country. So let's see how to set up taxes. So let's now go to our WordPress dashboard. Now from WooCommerce, let's go to settings. First thing under the general tab, scroll down, make sure this one, the enable taxes option is turned on. So just enable the tax rates and calculation and then scroll down, click on save changes. And right after that, you can see a new tab has been added that's tax. So let's now click here on tax. So first of all, you will find an option says price entered with tax. By default, it's set to no. So if you set it to no, then your customer will have to pay the tax. Like if we go to the shop, like here we can see a product and its price is $115. And if the tax is $20 for this product, then your customer will have to pay $20 more. So for this $115 product, in total they will have to pay $135. But let's say if you select this one, the first option yes, then instead of your customer, you will have to pay the tax. So if you make this one yes, then from shop page, for this product, the price is $115 and you are paying the tax on behalf of your customer. So after paying the tax, you will basically receive $95. So if you set this option, the first option, yes, I will enter price inclusive of tax. Then what can you do? You can increase the price $20 more. Like then instead of $115, you can put the price $135 as you are paying the tax on behalf of your customer. So it's up to you if you select yes, then add the tax price with the product. And if you select no, then keep the price the way it is, then your customer will have to pay the tax. And here you can see the calculate tax based on. So you already guessed it, right? If you select the option to no, then select it customer shipping address or you can set the customer billing address. And if you wanna pay the tax, I mean, if you select this option, then the calculate takes based on, you need to make this option to shop base address as you are paying the tax. But for now, I wanna select this no, I will enter price exclusive of tax and then calculate tax based on customer shipping address. And then here shipping tax class, I wanna make it the first option shipping tax class based on cart items. And these are other classes. We will set up different tax rate on each of these classes. So for now, let's select shipping tax class based on cart items. And then let's select it round tax at subtotal level. And then here is the additional tax classes. So let's say in your country, you have different tax rates for different type of products. Let's say for clothing type of products, your country has a different tax rate. Then you can create a new tax class here. Just hit enter. And let's another, let's say clothing tax. So you can set up a different tax rate for the clothing products. By default, there are only two, the reduced rate and zero rate. So you can use this zero rate for digital products because in most of the countries, digital products has no taxes. So I will show you shortly how to set up all these tax rates from here at the top tab. You can see standard rates, reduce rates, zero rates. Also we have added here clothing tax. So that will be also added here at the top. And then here you can see the options for display price in the shop. For now, let's keep it excluding tax. Let's select it and also display prices during cart and checkout. For now, also keep it excluding tax. And then here you can see price display suffix. 
so if you are paying the tax then you can write here like including tax or including vat and if your customer are paying the tax then you can write here excluding vat so your customer will understand the price on the shop page are excluding vat they will have to pay some extra for the taxes and let's keep the display tax totals itemized so let's now click on save changes now here at the top you can see all the tax classes we have added so let's first go under standard rates and like i said tax actually depends on countries even it depends on states sometimes it depends on cities as well so if you want to set up a tax rate first click here on insert row so first let's add a tax rate for united states so here country code just type here united states oops here is the united states so just select it and the state code i'm putting here ca c stands for california California. and then if you want to make it more narrower then you can put the postcode or city now here is the option for tax rate and if you want to know about all the tax rates and if you are based on united states then you can go to these websites the taxer.com forward slash states so here you can see all the states and here is the california if we now click on california then here you can see on california the sales tax rate is 7.25 percent if we now go back and if we select new york you see on new york sales tax rate is four percent so let's close this so as we are setting the tax rate for california so tax rate let's put it 7.25 and here's the priority is one and shipping is checked let's now add another row click here insert row this one is also for united states yes united states and state code is for new york so for new york the tax rate i want to set up 4.00 priority is one and shipping is checked now let's click on save changes so this is the standard tax rates if we now go under clothing tax rates now click on insert row here you can put the country united states state code california and for example if the tax rate and only for example let's set the tax rate to 3.5 because like i said it depends on products category as well also for clothing let's insert another row and this time country code i want to put here canada so here it is and for for Canada I want to set the tax rate to 5.00 percent let's now click on save changes in the same way you can set up the tax rate for reduced rate taxes so just insert a row and let's say for reduced rate taxes if you put the country blank and if you only put the tax rate to 5.00 percent so whenever you keep the country code blank that means it would be applicable for all the countries so if anyone orders any product that's under reduced rate then no matter which country your customer in they will have to pay the 5.00 percent tax rate now click on save changes now let's go under zero rate rates now click on insert row and also for the zero tax rates i want to keep the country code blank and the tax rate i want to set it to 0.00, .00 because i want to use this zero rates class on the all digital products so let's click on save changes so basically if we go to the standard rates here i want to clarify all the text things like if you are from united states and if you want to supply your product to all over the united states then you will have to manually put all the states and if there is a different tax rate for all other states you can just click here on insert row and you can set up all different tax rates from here or for other classes like clothing tax or reduced tax or the zero rate tax so all these tax rates actually depends on your country or your state 
So I have just shown you how to do that but depending on your country you need to set up all these by yourself because I don't know all the rates on your countries but in this way you can set up all the tax rates. Now let's have a look here for the standard rate in United States, California state. We have set up the tax rate 7.25%. So if we now go to shop and here is a product that's a skype session if we now click on this product let's now edit this product click here on edit product and let's now scroll down here you can see the tax status is taxable and the tax class is standard that means if someone buys this product and they are from california as the standard rates is selected for that product they will have to pay 7.25 percent tax so let's go back to the product and if we now update the product now let's view the product and if we now add this product to the cart let's now go to the cart page now if we scroll down here you can see the tax price has been added here that's ten dollar eighty cent also if we now go to this product page again and let's now edit the product this time here instead of standard if we set the class to zero rate and let's now update the product let's now view the product and if we now go to the card page now here you cannot see any tax price added why is that because if we go to the tax settings and if we go to the zero rates here you see for the zero rate taxes the tax percentage is 0, 0.00 so no tax rates for the zero rate taxes let me show you another example if we now go to the shop page and here it's a clothing product so let's now select this product now let's go to edit product and for this product i wanna select the tax class to clothing tax and let's now go to top and click on update let's now view the product now add this product to the cart if we now go to the cart page now if we scroll down here you can see the tax price nine dollar ninety eight cents has been added and here you may see the tax rate is comparatively lower why is that because if we now go to the tax settings and if we click on clothing tax rates you see for the clothing tax united states and california state we have set up the tax rate 3.5 percent that's why we can see on the card page the tax is only nine dollar ninety eight cents for a 285 dollar product so this is how tax rate works so let's summarize the whole idea if you're based on united states and if you want to put the different tax rates for different states also if you want to create the different tax rates for different type of products then you need to put all the states name here on the separated row and you need to set up all the tax rates manually but now i want to show you another easiest way like if you don't want to do all these settings manually one by one i know that's a lot of hard work so if you don't want to do all this manually by yourself then for that we can install a plugin so here you can see plugins from there let's now click on add new and then from the search bar i'm searching for woocommerce services so here is the plugin WooCommerce services let's now install it click here install now let's now activate it so basically if we use this plugin then you don't have to put all the tax rates by yourself manually this plugin will take care of all the tax rates and to set up this plugin properly we need to install jetpack as well so here you can see at the top it says connect jetpack to activate woocommerce services let's now click here install jetpack and connect and it's redirected us to jetpack's website so if you already have a jetpack account it's completely free just put your email address and click on continue but let's say if you don't have an jetpack account just scroll down from here click on create a new account you just need to put your email address and create a password it's super easy but i already have a jetpack account so let's now click here on continue so it says we just emailed a link to your email address please check your inbox 
So I get this email. Let's now click here login to wordpress.com. Now click here continue to wordpress.com. So it's setting up everything for me. So it's all set up and it redirected us to the website. So it says setup complete. So if we now go to WooCommerce, then let's go to settings. Okay, now click here got it. Thanks. So this time if we go to tax, now we can see here a new option says automated taxes. So from here just select it enable automated taxes and then scroll down and click on save changes. We are done. Now we don't need to put all the tax rates by ourselves individually. It will handle all the tax rates for ourselves. All right. And I have a complete WooCommerce tutorial in this channel where I have shown everything in detail step by step from start to finish. So no matter if you're a complete beginner, you can create a complete e-commerce website by following that tutorial. I have shown there everything. How to get your domain name and web hosting, how to add any type of products, how to take payments, how to deliver products to your customers, everything. If you follow that tutorial step by step, you can start selling anything online from today. I will put the tutorial link in the description so you can check that out. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so whenever I will upload a new video, you will get notified before anyone. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.